Fáilte Róbh, Gudji, Fla Factor, Drehadaha. Yes, here in Drogheda tonight, we've got Fla Factor, where six contestants will battle it out to see who has actually mastered a particular cultural skill or traditional music or dancing here in Drogheda. Like the wild rose. <laughs> contestants have been practicing with their mentors for the past six weeks in various disciplines and now tonight they're going to battle it out to see who will be crowned Fla Factor winner 2013. Shin Butcher Fla Factor Drehidaha 2013. We have a marvellous night of music, song and dance. We will have Justin Stubbs, an Australian who comes from Melbourne, trying out some river dancing. Yes, he's learned to do some Irish dancing. We have the mayor of Drogheda, Richie Kilhan, who has learned how to play the banjo. We have a contestant from The Voice of Ireland, Katie Anna Mohan, herself a singer and guitar player, who has learned to play the violin. We have a radio presenter, Deirdre Hurley from LMFM Radio, who has tried her hand at learning the tin whistle. And we have Alison Common, a print journalist, who has learned some Shan No singing. So there we have it. We also have Connor Mohan, a bar manager, who has learned how to play the Bowron. There we have the cream of society here in Drogheda battling it out tonight to see who is going to win Fla Factor. And the Fla Factor is in one of the extra things that Drogheda Cultus has put on in the town this year in 2013 in a bid to raise awareness for cultists and for Irish music, tradition, song, culture and dance here in Drogheda ahead of our next bid to host Fla Ciol na Heron here in Drogheda on the Boyne side in 2015. So, Fáilteorov go Drehadaha, agus Fáilteorov go Fla Factor Drehadaha no. It's great to see such a crowd turning out to hear the cream of Drogheda's newest musicians, singers and dancers battle it out to see who's going to take away this wonderful trophy here tonight. It's especially fantastic to see our adjudicators, uh, Vivian Trainer, Seamus Brogan, Catherine Brown and Tommy Leddy. And um, we have other members of the Art Corley of Cultus here. We have Anne Finnegan and we have Bill Cunningham. And we are especially honoured to have the Uchtero the President of Cultus, all the way from Birmingham, Fitz Jordan and his wife Anne. And you're very welcome to talk She is a singer, so it wasn't a huge leap, but to be able to carry off that style and to entertain a general audience um, and to keep them, I think she held her audience very well. It was absolutely fantastic.
try and pull the bow across the fiddle and it'll be squeaking and squawking and everything, you know. And uh, she did very, very well. Um, I think we're, we were talking about there, the fiddle is really, really hard. And I think she said she learned that by ear, so she had it off and didn't miss a note. And she's great rhythm, so fair play. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Forward picking up a bower on a plane, and um, the uh, Connor said there that the music skipped the gene. I think we just found it. Yeah. Um, the one thing I'd say is that he has great wrists on the right hand, but if you notice on the left, he was doing all different tones, you know, moving your hand down, getting different tones. That's a skill, like it's really a skill, fair play. And Connor said there, I think I'll keep it up. Well, I hope that all the contestants like keep it up. This you see what they've achieved in six weeks, like keep it up, sure, this time next year. Dueling banjos is a kind of a hard number to play, you know, but it suited him. But he's a better rhythm player. He was great at the rhythm. Good man. Keep it up, Richie.
when I heard about a FLA factor and how that would work and how it would work out. But I have to say it's been a really, really entertaining night. I've had my eyes and my ears opened to um, traditional Irish music in all its forms. I've never um, been treated to all the different forms in the one night. And I really enjoyed all of the acts. I was really struck by their courage firstly, by their persistence when they were on stage, how they performed against the odds, some struggling in the weeks and days coming up to their performances with various things. And it really, we really had to remind ourselves constantly that they only had training for the last few weeks in this. I mean, the, the levels to which they got with their instruments or with their voices, um, you really wouldn't expect to see that uh, after maybe a year or more of that kind of training and practice. Um, and they're to be highly commended, uh, as are their mentors for that. So it was a really entertaining evening, um, and I was so happy to be here, and it was very, very good. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's very encouraging, in fact, for to hear Vivian um, say that she's been won over by traditional Irish music now, and it's, it's great to, for someone like me to hear that, because I was brought up uh, from when I was a child, I was born into uh, traditional Irish music house. Um, and again, I said earlier on that uh, I always uh, regretted that I never learned to play an instrument. Um, I, I think after tonight, maybe I'm going to start learning. Uh, I wonder, I'm just wondering, uh, can you teach an old dog new tricks? <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I think maybe you can. And the one thing I would say to all of the people who were there tonight is make sure that this is not the end of it. Make sure that regardless of how you do tonight, keep it up. Keep up the playing because you will find that you will enjoy it so much later on. It'll be it'll be uh, worth everything to you, and um, you will end up if you keep at it. You will end up being able to sit up on the stage with the likes of Michael Corn there and play with him. And I can say I can tell you this much: if you can sit up on the stage and play with Michael Corn, you hit the top. So. Uh, well done, well done to everybody, and uh, again, thanks very much to the committee for inviting me here. Um, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I've been bowled over by you. It's great. Thank you all very much. Um, just, I, I feel, I feel um, a little bit um, sort of biased here anyway, because Noelle Bow. Uh, that got all the plaudits there on the stage is actually my sister, so... Um, <laughs> well done, Noel. Thanks. Uh, this is my third time to draw that in maybe a year or so, and every time I come back, it's just like the branches get stronger and stronger and stronger, so fair play. Um, again, I'd just like to see what she was saying there for those who went up tonight. Um, Keep it up, and you can be next year's mentors. There you go. And um, I know Von Telly when they do a DVD is like six months later. This is how they're getting on, so you know, we can see that. But fair play to all, all involved, and thanks very much for the invitation. Next year, next year's Black Factor, we we'll have a look back at how this one we're getting on. Yeah. And Tommy, some of all hey, of Everybody has said everything there, but uh, I'll tell you, I think. When I got the letter from Laura, she said, I'm glad to see that you agreed to come and be part of the adjudication. I said, I didn't do that. I didn't want to be here at all, you know. But am I glad I'm here tonight? It was brilliant. I was just being up in the behind that. Our most esteemed guest here tonight um, is Vince Jordan, who's actually the president of Coltus. So I'd like to welcome Vince Jordan up to say a few words. Go on really about the uh, aims and aspects of Cultus Cultorierum, but they are uh, very much encapsulated in tonight's performances. Um, act one, I actually thought it was Dolores Keane that was singing there, and it was Alison Cullen. I grew up in the land in Birmingham, uh, Tim Whistle and flute player called Kevin Crawford of Lunasa 
Deidre Hurley, you spun him. You were nearly as good as he was, that's for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Fiddle playing is at its very best in County Clare with Martin Hayes. Katie, Anna, Mohan, what a fiddle player you are. That encapsulates what we do in politics. I'll be playing the uh, box tomorrow night in a session uh, down at the D, and there is only one Bowron player I want with me. Colin Mohan! Where are you? Beside me tomorrow night, no excuses, that's where I want you. Well, dueling banjos, my God. Mayor and Councillor Richie Culhane, what a banjo player you're turning out to be. I don't know whether he's still here, but what a performance, well done. Act six, when I heard it was an Australian, I thought it would be I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> but it wasn't. It was strictly come dancing at its very best. Thank you. Just a <laughs> If cultus is not about what we witnessed here tonight, we're not about it at all. What an absolutely wonderful, wonderful evening. And uh, Droger Branch has proved once again that it's clear thinking, it's new thinking, and if we bring the flower up here, we're in for something new and very exciting. Well done, brother. <laughs> it's my great privilege uh, to announce the winner of Flower Factor 2013 is <laughs> it was very very close i've been told but let's congratulate alison Cobb.